Stop, stop panicking a moment, okay? It's not the end of the world. I mean, it is the end of the world. He's just a friendly little goo fella. He's just here to hang out. Just an enormous, terrifying, map-engulfing goo fella. I think we just don't look over in that direction, huh? I think we just don't look over in that direction. We accept that that bit's lost, but we don't live there. We live on Safety Island, and there's a fucking reason why we call it Safety Island. The goo on Safety Island is nice and contained. Why have I got no audio? What's happening? How am I supposed to listen to people replace the sound effects with a basketball hoop now? In this here colony, we are now locked and loaded. We're strapped in. We're strapped on. We're in a lane, thriving. Gaslight gatekeep Gene. That's a joke, because his name begins with G, but it's pronounced with a G. G, G, G. <laughs> of course, we are limited to only pre-microelectronics technology. So how, pray tell, do we get bigger, faster, stronger weaponry? Well, it's a bright world out there, my friends, filled with terrible people that I wouldn't be too upset about robbing. I think it's time that we head over to these architectural ruins and we take a look. We're going to penetrate the structure and extract the mechanator's mech link for your own use. What? I think someone did a little copy and paste there and forgot to change it. I would never do anything like that. Jesus, we have a slight turdacious overload occurring in the base. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Safety Island's going to be re renamed to Stinky Island if we're not careful. Hold on, I've got to address the elephant in the room. Or at least the elephant-sized thing in the room. We fought this enormous fella. It was an incredible boss fight. It was a, it was a great victory. And then everybody decided to poo-poo on it by saying, actually, it just died because the timer ran out. I was also incorrect. I said it was 250 individual bits of damage will kill anything and reward instantly. Because that's just how the base game works. It's not. It's 150 damage. I'm going to add all this up, and we're going to see who was right. Uh, I'm lo looking at this, and I'm already not feeling confident. Three, seven, three, three, gunshot, gunshot, 493, gunshot, 15, 13, 12, that's number one, 8, 6, 5, 4, 6, 3, nothing, 2, 4, 3, 23, 21, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 130, 134, 140. Oh, 143, 147. I don't understand. That's like 153 right there. That's already past the lethal damage threshold. I guess it doesn't affect the gore beasts. Is it scale with body size? What do you want? This time they've turned up on the right map. Sadly for them, this right map for them is the probably the wrong map for them as well. It's full of... Jesus. Let's get the shit out of me then. I thought that was an enormous shambler. A lot of friends on this map. A lot of very hungry friends. And of course, an enormous spreading patch of grey goo that we're just not going to worry about. That's just not my problem. Uh, Yeah, I get the feeling that's a self-writing problem, isn't it? Motherfucker, who was that? Hello? Someone just shot her. Rustica's torso was damaged by Suman's Winchester bullet. Suman, what do you think you're doing out there? You know what? Go, go, go. Kill him. Kill him before they kill us. Suman, where are you? Suman? Suman, what is that? You just shot off something from Rusev. You just shot off Rusev's hand. Jesus, what the fuck? This guy's a crack shot. What am I looking at? Well, nothing. I can't see. It's very dark out there, you see. You! Oh, there's like... Oh, God, there's actually quite a few of them. Okay, yeah, honestly, fair enough. There's two of them, and they've just been picking my people off like crazy. Little fuckers. Get out of here. Piss off. That was a little over the top. What the hell was that? Chop Rustica's eye out. They blew... I've never seen the AI be this accurate ever. Bear in mind, it's also volcanic winter, because I agree to look after this very cursed, very normal child. And it's foggy rain because of the bloody pirates reduces accuracy. They were, they were, we, they Swiss cheesed my people. Poor Rustica. We should probably give her immediate medical attention. She's just been shot in the head. Pistol stand there. Who else needed it? Seb, come here. We could take the weapons though. Wait, was it Seb? Uh, no, it was not Seb. Who, who lost a hand? Rusev. G give him a round of applause, everybody. Give this man a hand. Plus side, like, that weapon is mine. It's bio-coded. What? Oh my god, there's another one. I mean, they're not firing back, so I can only infer that that's possibly a beast of some description. Rusev. Rusev, what's going on? Oh, it is a beast. Oh, it's slowly crawling towards us through the water. That's really gross. I don't like that. That's how we're playing today. I guess we'll put some bionics on the menu, eh? These ruins can have a lot of fun stuff. They've got custom power armor, custom weapons. I presume we can find some bionics. The original mall that we started in... Oh, Rustico got an infection after being shot in the eye. That's actually fair enough. That original mall that we started in, there are weapons galore. There was so much stuff to loot and we were forced out early. Not this time. We're prepared. We're ready. Well, maybe not, given how apparently deadly accurate the AI are. Maybe it was the gun. Maybe it was just the fact that they employed Will Smith's bullseye from the hit movie Some Sort of Suicide Squad. Anyway, we can actually have a look and find out if it is the weapons. Let's take a look here and see. DPS over accuracy. What should I be aiming for? Actually, they are very, very good. Damn, they're actually like the third best weapon in the game. Well, at least that we can craft right now. KBA Railgun. Can we, can we make those? 
We can, but they were expensive, right? Also slow as fuck. So actually for fighting shamblers, that's probably a terrible idea. Stopping power, I think could be the thing to go for. You're not really going to be a shotgun for that though, are you? Ruger Red Label has a stopping power of three. But it is worse than the shotgun. Yeah, I guess we go pump shotgun. I mean, a Ruger Red Label, I assume, is a shotgun, right? It's the play. We got nine people. Three railguns, three pump shotguns. Uh, three of something good at close range and, like, close quarters. They suddenly jump around a corner. A shotgun's good at that. Yeah, I'm well aware. You're just some sort of automatic weapon at that point might be good. Bear in mind, we're also going to be fighting people. And it turns out people might actually be the real threat. Oh, what a good metaphor. Though it pains me to say it out loud. There's the floor. Why does it keep doing that? What's wrong with you? Even though it pains me to say it out loud, we probably should educate the child, shouldn't we? What have you just done? What have you just done? Gene Shed encouraging words tomorrow. No. Power couple. Yes. Show me. Yes. This is the best moment of my life. Yes. I've never been happier. It was the best thing that could happen in my life. And then she said, oh, I'm so in love with you, Gene. Let's be together. No fucking way. No way. And you know what? Someone left a comment last episode saying that what Gene lost with that last Gene tool was the alien appearance. This thing here that gives them a minus 60, uh, minus 45 and a beauty negative and everything else. He lost that. Gene got his enormous wife in the end. and I'm so happy. I'm so fucking happy. It's so goddamn good. She's 61. He's 69. And she thought, you know what? Yes, you are. Though, given how tall she is, he's probably... It's probably not. It's going to be like a fraction, isn't it? That's going to be a hell of an improper fraction. <laughs> Give this man a double bed. Give him a double bed. Have, have either of them got a bedroom? She has a bedroom. That's it. The series is complete. Honestly, I could, I, I'm, I could not have got a better ending. It doesn't matter what I do from here on out. It's a fucking 10 out of 10. S tier. Jean gets a happy ending. I'm good with that. Unless she dies, at which point it's immediate F tier. Stopping the series there and then. Listen. We're pushing the beds together. I don't think Gene has a bed. That's the problem. I don't have enough room to build enough bedrooms. <laughs> Unowned. That'll do. Oh, let's push the beds together, honey. How is that not enough wood? What is going on? What's happening? No way. <laughs> no way. You are a liar. Oh, because it's 23 wood per bed that we take apart. That is, that is glorious. What a great... That is just amazing. I can't possibly top this. Was that wood to build a school for the child that desperately needs an education? No. Let Gene smash. Yes, reform ideology. Stop. I gotta rename the horse. I haven't forgotten to rename the horse. I did yesterday. I said I need to rename the horse. I'm not gonna forget. I immediately forgot. You would too if you were on as little sleep as I am currently right now. Not right now. I'm not asleep right now. Let's change the memes. A. First. I, I said scavenger. I realize we've already got that. Loads of people in the comments suggested... That's not memes. Loads of people in the comments suggested trader. I think that's a good call because that's really been the backbone of this whole thing. Could go nauticals travel a bit faster. We could even go vehicles and just travel a bit faster. We could go road rage and travel a bit faster. Does road rage apply to boat? Uh, it does not. In fact, boat is forbidden. I would never forbid boat. Honestly, I doubt we can afford more than that. We can't even afford that. Oh, fuck you. Can we not afford that? What are you talking about? Oh my god, wait. So it applies the... We've got a, we've got a mod that changes the way fluid ideologies work, but I think that's a little unfair. I mean, it's not that unfair. All right, okay. You know what? Fine. I'll play by your rules, god damn you. I execute the child for points. I'm not going to... To execute the child. Okay, we could build an ideology room to really just lock this in then. You know, with all this space that we've got, I'll build another building. That's a good play. Let's do uh, something like this. Someone's going to have to move this hot air balloon. Now, uh, there seems to be a bit of confusion. People say, why am I not using the balloon to scout over the walls? The balloon is simply a transport pod. I, I, I mean, I could scout over the walls with it by landing it back on a tile outside the base. That seems dangerous. Might as well kill two balloons with one stone here. So I've also added the weight price mod because that seems pretty good given how much trading we're doing. I mean, it's a pretty great way to survive post-apocalypse. Let's sell them a touch of go juice. I don't know how we've got this. Do we need 82 shards? Probably not. I'll see if they're even willing to buy them. Base of technology blueprints we straight up can't use. I'll sell them a single piece of human leather, probably where someone got degloved. That's Rusev's hand right there. What the fuck was that noise? I don't think the I don't think the recording picked that up. I just heard genuinely what sounded like our Pokemon out there. Here, get in the boat. What was that? Hello? What the fuck was that? <gasps> Okay, I think I figured out what it was. <laughs> I said to Keys mid-episode yesterday, is it possible we could have a toggle for the boss bars uh, just for situations, you know, like yesterday while I was spending more time running away than fighting them? Well, Keys added that in about 30 seconds because Keys is nothing short of a miracle worker. Oh, yep, there you are. Look, everyone, it's Hugo Gorges. 
He sure does. He didn't get that big from not gorging. Go back operation potential in gun turrets. That's the good shit right there. Now, we can only really get basic gun turrets. I don't think we can get uranium slag turrets because that is post microelectronics, correct? Auto cannon. Oh, even auto cannon requires that. Ooh, yeah, there's uranium. Let's say uranium slag turrets. That's not what I meant. Oh, shit. A lot of this stuff is over here. Bollocks. Okay. I mean, if I could grab those, how much are they worth each? 30. The space technology blueprint is worth 30 each. Oh, base value is 1,000, but they've been in the rain. Right. Oh, it makes sense. All right. Never mind then. Why is there so much underlying double entendre this entire series? Oh, dear. Right. Well, that's bullshit. Oh, my God. They've got two Arcotech legs. I mean, I can't afford it. I can never afford that. That is insane. Okay, listen, I need like an arm, a nose. I, I mean, I, yeah, I do need a nose for pistol. Never in any series have I felt the lack of wood so intensely, other than maybe some early generation series. And Genie, I would like to look upon your face with my own eyes. Pistol, pistol, get him blasted. You know what, Mara, it's your job now. Get him blasted. Not that I'm not trying to, uh, okay, don't infer anything from that. No sweet baby boy moments here. He lost something very good. Because his metabolism is right back down to 125. What did you lose? I don't think it really... Oh, was it... It was coagulator, right? Like super clossing? Yeah, it looks like it. Speaking of blasting, blowback operation. Thank you very much. Gun turrets I would love right now. Death rest. Fuck off. Give me some, give me some gun turrets. Mortars actually could also be pretty sick. You know what? I'm going to do that. One of the comments last episode said, don't forget that with vehicles, you can put down a road area. So vehicles, as it says there, will prioritize leaving at the edge of the map where this is. Maybe it also works for boats. And you know what? You're a genius. So let's try something like that. And then we'll say avoid areas pretty much anywhere where the boat can't actually literally get to. Like all this fucking swamp. You know what? I'm just going to put an avoid area here. <laughs> <laughs> Rustic, you can also get a specialization. Um, what do you think about a little repairing? Building? Construction speed. Ooh, architecture gives quality bonus. And, okay, hear me out. Every time I take this, I regret it because we end up getting legendaries and masterworks raining from uh, her. Horrible choice of words. And we end up with a ridiculous amount of colony wealth. But... We've got a tiny little island. I can't build a big sprawling base. We're, we're pretty much at the maximum limit this island can sustain right now. Lana's out here, and she is going to get us a little bit of wood to build that base with. Because I'm sick of not being able to do anything at all based on my wood amount. What's the... <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't even have time to react to that. I set up the job. Apparently, some enemy comes trundling over. She does a 360, walks away, shoots her in the heart instantly. Some Call of Duty montage bullshit. I didn't even see them coming. Oh, don't do it. What, what is that? Oh, you got a little bionic tail. I'm not lowering that drawbridge unless you kill that thing out there. Hold on. Is that not the right one? That's a different... Gorby's again. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, it's like taking out that whole tray caravan, though. What is that? What is that right there? Cranial insulation? Industrial technology. Oh, God. That could not have come at a worse time. Okay. Well, let's see how this plays out. To be fair, we did a pretty good job of, of killing that gore beast. So this might just play out the same way. Alternatively, I go help them because there's a lot of loot on the table here. There's like a lot of medicine. We've got rations. We've got rifles. Obviously, we can unload the ammo from that. Okay, I'm gonna go help them. I'll probably regret this, but I'm gonna go help them. Come on. Oh my god, there are two. There are two. We got Vladimir Gorby's Condon, and we've got another one, which I can't see right now. Oh shit. Uh, hi there. How are you doing? Oh, they have barely put a dent in them, actually. Oh fuck. Is this gonna stun? It didn't stun. It didn't stun. Okay, 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 okay. Back up, back up, back up. Run. Maybe it only works on the little shamblers. I mean, it does say makeshift after all. All right, well, I was going to help. And I'll be honest, I've changed my mind. We know roughly how long they've got. That one's got three days. That one's got two days. Okay. Well, there goes the last of the rangers. Hold. Boat road. Please don't spawn in somewhere terrible now. Are you... Okay. Luckily, I made a quick save. <laughs> <laughs> Take two, here we go. Oh, learn to drive! Oh, thank God. 
<laughs> now all you've got to do is dodge the enormous monsters that are lurking in this river somewhere. Boom, that'll keep us going for a long time. There you go. That should be the last of the base building done. I think. Oh, gas operation gives us some all right stuff, actually. The timer on one of them ran out. Can we go over there and smash the corpse before it gets up, do you think? Oh, Rusev, I have a job for you. It's time to avenge your arm, my friend. Ah. Uh. Huh? Well, the cloud is clearing. We might not have to do it anyway, but you know what? I'm not taking any chances because it takes a little while to disappear. Go, 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 go. Uh, consume gore beast. I don't need you doing that. That's a lot of calories. Take it, take it. Oh, fuck. There's another one. Oh, come on. Good lord. Trade caravan was the worst thing that could have happened. They've just dragged it all to our front door. That, luckily, that one's about to die soon. And what's, what's the timer on this fella? Big guy. Big guy. Hello. How you doing? Four days on that one. Ideology room is done. Let's have a festival. Because the ideology itself doesn't have an altar, you don't have to worry about actually starting it at an altar. We can't. They don't exist. Beautiful. Oh my god, we got a wait, we got four development points for that. Hold on. And then we also got a wanderer. Excavator named Zoruchi. Postpone. Let me have a think about that. I don't think we can physically fit any more people on this island. I already don't have enough bedrooms for people. We're gonna do like build up around here, push this right out to the farm. We got 132 wood left. Ooh, we'll have a chat about that in a second. First things first. Let's upgrade. We take trader that gives us improved trading prices. We require training, but we're doing that so frequently. I think it's irrelevant. Expectations become higher, which is going to be a problem, but we eventually we're going to be able to build fine carpets, that type of thing. We get a ritual and we also get the merchant role. I don't think we can afford anything else, to be honest. I think that's probably going to be it. Can I, I can't like adjust any of these. Food. We started off low spirits. Can we go normal? Can we go high? We can pick either. I think we'll just go to normal. I, I mean, obviously, high spirits is just like a free plus five mood. Listen, it's about immersion. It's about telling a story. We're going to go to a more neutral because things aren't perfect. There's a Grey Grew outbreak on, uh, on the shore adjacent. We've got enormous people staring over our walls nonstop. So I think that's fair. Let's add our merchant. And we'll probably give that to Rustica, actually. We add more festivals. That's obviously more points in the future to reform. Oh, we can't do it all. Oh, no, Ringo. Can I maybe add... Ah, oh, shit. Can I maybe add a ritual? Or is that going to be two points as well? No, it's just on a social festival. Yeah, too much. Okay. Mutants and baseline is both preferred, obviously. And we're going to solve it with that. There you go. I'm happy with that. Zaruchi, let's... Oh, God. We're not going to get that much more space, even if I push it right the way up to the farm, though, am I? Am I, am I realistically going to be able to build a house back here? I mean, look at how small that's going to be. Shit. And then we probably need a gap for the hospital as well. I think that's sensible. If I do something like that, d would this count as a house? That's going to be the world's smallest house. You know what? God damn it. We're supposed to be the good guys. Zeruchi, welcome. Where are you? Zeruchi, hello there. How you doing? Oh, God. He's got to try and get here in one place. He's bought his own cowboy hat. You know what? You're winning me over already. Are you any good? He is an excavator. I think him and Gene will get along. Heavy sleeper is just about the worst trait ever in any mod. Uh, he's got a mining of 11. He is not amazing, sadly. Good luck getting here. We could go pick you up in a boat. I think I'm going to have to pick him up in a boat. Otherwise, he's not going to get over here in one piece. What have we got? Drag him here. Go take the junk. The HMS Chandles, of course, named after that legend that saved us. Managed to draw all those horrible monsters away from us that one time. Could bring the junk over. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Board as passenger. There you go. Beautiful. And then sail him over. Ah, very nice. More pissing around. Let's go raid this. How do we even get there? I guess we could just go by river. Go by river, jump out. Take the cog, and then we could just run back and forth with all the loot. It's dangerous. Uh, the alternative is we try and get the ox cart past this Trade Federation blockade out here. Shoot them or something. I'm not doing the voice. <laughs> you know, that, that voice that they do. Let's go with... I need, I need my, my best combat characters. Obviously, Pistol. <sighs> Rusev is good, but is missing a hand. You know what? I, st I, still, I still think Rusev can do some heavy damage here. Take Mara. Take Rustica, because she was an ex-Inquisitor. So she's pretty fucking good. Uh... And I think that's about all I'm willing to take. And onwards we go for a coastal raid on a city to bring back Neolithic blueprints. What the hell? Off we go on a coastal raid to a city to bring back technology that we can only dream of. This is not a pirate playthrough. No pirate music. It's not a pirate series. You can have some watery music, but you're not having pirate music. Kind of arrived at architectural ruins. Well, uh... What have, you, what have you done there? You've just thrown that space of technology blueprint in the river. Well, fair enough. You live your life. Hi there. What are we up against? Oh, 
Okay, it's smaller than I thought. I'll be honest, I was kind of expecting, uh, uh, like, one of the malls that we saw before, but this is workable. There doesn't seem to be much here, though. It all seems like ancient junk. Do we have any enemies, or is it... Oh, look at this. Enter the staircase to go to other floors. That's a really cool thing about this mod I haven't mentioned yet, is it has full-on Z levels. Here we are. You can see that you're allowed permitted floors at certain times of day. It's as close to actual functioning Z levels that I've seen. I think it's abandoned. Oh. Uh, my brother in Christ, that's not abandoned. Oh, my God. Okay. That's a drone. I think I saw another one. There's another one there. I think I saw another one. I think I saw one down further. No, only two drones. What are they doing? Just standing there. I guess they haven't recognized us as a threat yet. Oh, now they have attacking pistol. What are they doing? Or more specifically, what aren't they doing? Do you think we can get into some good cover here? Or maybe, maybe lay it down a little bit like that? That seems like a good lineup. Mara, let's pop forward. Hi there. How you doing? Nice to... I just went into a different room. That's annoying. So you've got tear gas, which I'm... Shut the door. Okay. I'm not a fan of that at all. Look. Look, they're moving throughout the structure. We better get some bloody good loot for this, because this is the most dangerous thing we've ever fought. You can see them in the you can see them in the fog, apparently. Oh, there they are. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Mara, 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 Mara. I'm starting to think melee might have been the right choice for these bloody things. God damn. What does a tear gas do? Sorry, stand in that a second. Sorry about this. Uh tear gas blinded. 200 times pain. Minus 60 manipulation, minus 60% moving. So they'll drop their weapon if we're not careful. Tear gas, teary. Okay, so multiple levels. Pain times 120. Sight down by 80. Fucking hell. So if we get caught in that, there's basically no chance of us being able to clap back. How do I fight them? Can we come from the outside, take down a wall? We might just be able to... Ooh, oh, hang on. Are they, have we baited them out? Bait them out? Hello. Nice to see you. I've got to play. Hold on. Hold this for me. Oh, no. Too far? Too far. God damn it. Pistol. We've only got one more of those. Kill it. Let's just see if it even works. Okay. Okay. I don't know if our guns can even damage them. Oh, God. There's the other one. There's the other one right there. Uh, Open to suggestions. Because our bullets are just bouncing off. They are just bouncing off. It's not even harming them. Uh, okay, uh, let's, let's, let's go through this door, and, <laughs> panic, hi there, how you doing, can we, can we bait them outside again, I feel a little bit better knowing that we can maneuver out of the tear gas a bit more, a bit more capably, because if that's their only attack, if I just spread my people out, like, really, really far, I feel like I'm onto something a bit, move, there you go, there you go, there you go, okay, it's big brain time, Pistol can't do a damn thing. I'm going to assume that does not EMP them. Let's see what happens. Uh, you move to there for me. Oh my god, what a joke. We actually did get some damage in there. Oh god, has that hit you? You're fine. EMP? EMP didn't do anything. The area is now safe, but unexplored rooms remain. Okay, let's go and have a poke around, shall we? Bloody tear gas. Unbelievable. So I presume that means there are no more enemies, at least in this area. Whoa. Hi there. Burger paper box. Potato chips. Okay, let's have a look. Whoa, bloody hell, that loaded fast. Hi there. Okay, here we go. Floor one. Is there anyone here? <gasps> There's a man with a knife. Hello, what are you? Independent scavenger. They're just a scavenger. You're not, you're not hostile to us. Okay. What about you? Warrior. A, a random. There's loads of scavengers around then. Oh, shit. And look, they're going up and down floors too. Oh my god. We've got ancient armored gate. What the hell is that? Have we got a good builder? Rustica's our builder. Take that apart for me. Okay. It's kind of like a hacking mini game, I suppose, from Oh! Oh, he's the edge of the map, moron. <laughs> well done, good work. Uh any loot here? Or have I Ooh, careful with that. Or have I totally wasted my time? Oh, fuel generator. Okay, that's something. We got we got also worth mentioning, of course, auto doors. What is this? Ancient crate. Small military case. Oh, shit. What is this? Scav bag. Oh, my God. If I open that, they're probably going to be quite pissed off that we're here to effectively steal their things, right? What happens if we do this? You've managed to steal a brass lion statue. I mean, that's not quite what I wanted, but that's cool. Travel bag. Contents unknown. Oh, this is sick. This is fucking sick. I'm so into this. Postman shoulder bag. Cracker open. 
Some pemmican. Military case. We've got... What is that? Weapon components. This is for the bloody modular weapons. So we're effectively in a kind of currency that we can swap over. A UHW... UHMWPE plate. I bet it is. It, it sure is, fella. Oh my god. Look at this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Okay, so we've got a safe floor. But we know they can go up and down floors. We just witnessed someone do that. Block staircase. Okay. Do we just go into the basement? Is that it? Oh, yes, we did. I understand. Right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was going to say, because that block staircase is going that direction. So we just got, what, like a friendly basement area. Oh, yeah, look at this. I mean, I'm going to rob you. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I am about to take all your things. I'm in sports bike. What was in that one? Radio intercom, whatever that does. And what's in that one? Baking thermometer. It's all just junk. You take it and you sell it. This is such a cool idea. This is actually unfathomably cool. Look at that. Hey, base game remote, if you're listening. This is how you do overworld exploration. I've got to keep my eyes peeled, because look. Cardboard box. Oh, my. Whoa. Whoa. Am I a fool? Oh, some, of these, some of these have contents in. Oh, shit. Well, this is going to take a long time to loot. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, let's have a quick look around to see if there's anything else that's lootable here. So, cardboard box contents are known. Oh, shit. Open cardboard box, and we get... Tape measure. Tape measure. But this is the post-apocalypse. Something as simple as a tape measure is worth a small fortune. It makes fucking sense. Ah, this is so damn cool. Big, big fan of this. It's an SSD. It's a Samsung 990 Pro. That's pretty good going. What's that? It's Lego Palace. Oof, my immersion. Owie. What is that? Steel breach axe. Just in a box. Fair enough. Okay. So the little boxes we can open. Big boxes we can't. What is that? Glass adhesive. Yep, me too. That's a great future Rimworld character name, by the way. Glass adhesive. We've got a, you got a hard drive there. We've got Aramid cloth. Now, I've seen this. This is what we make this really fancy armor out of. Look. Bulletproof mask. Composite flak suits. I wonder, does that need microelectronics? Because if not, we found, our, we found our niche. We found our niche, haven't we? Uh, ancient technology? I don't think it's that. It's off of circuitry, not microelectronics. Look. Oh, this is sick. Oh my god, we've, we can actually make some, like, good gear, but we've actually got to come out into the world and find the stuff that we need for it. Ah, oh, what a cool idea. Okay, fair enough. Whoa, come back a second. What are we looking at? Got some more cloth there. We've got, uh, braised pork. Oh, my favorite. And then we've got, um, MBSS, whatever the hell that is. Drop some beer. We've got something called a thick, some large capacity storage boxes. Thick, apart upon the ground. There's nothing in there, apparently. Okay, is that, is that everything? I think I've got everything at this point. Obviously, we've got to loot the top floor as well. I was about to say, how the hell am I supposed to get all this between floors in a convenient way? You click this, you load up people as if you're loading up a caravan. And then you can send it between floors. It's genius. It's like genius the whole way down. I really can't complain. I'll take the steel auto door. Sorry, fella, I'm looting all your stuff. Hope you don't mind. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't. I mean, he's not going to fight back when you see these four turning up. I mean, is that a bad thing we've just done? Rob that guy? Well, you'd have to assume no, because he, he quite literally did not care. And we fought those drones, so we've earned this. We've just, we've just basically, it's an exchange, right? We saved him from the drones. In exchange, he's going to give us some duct tape. Oh, that's looted. Okay. So it was just this one room. Oh, no, hold on. There's something there. It's the boxes with the black writing on it that we're looking for to open up. So there's another one right there as well. And beautiful. Wow, so I think actually in terms of like items to sell, this is a tremendous amount. And you'll never guess what genius thing we've just done. We took the bloody trader meme. Oh, piss and shit. Well, I guess we're leaving now. Let's see if we can even carry back our ill-gotten gains to the ship. Oh, it should be all right. It's not too heavy. Maybe not the brass line. Oh, it's only four kilograms. Well, fair enough. We go with our ill-gotten gains. I mean, we did defeat like two drones for it. So I think that's, we, we've done a good thing for the world here. What is this? Uh, abandoned exploration of the area. Yes, please. Please ensure that personnel and items have been evacuated. You're good. Thank you. I guess that'll unload, unload all the maps. There you are. I could just sail right to them. Just sell it outright, huh? Oh, let's go. Let's go home first. Give him a break. Let's, let's go, give him five minutes, for God's sake. It was just had a life or death experience. Oh, shit. Well, that was convenient. Our best trader also happens to be the one with all the loot on it. Oh, shit. Well, that works out quite well. Sorry, Rustica. You don't get a break quite yet. Uh, where's all the loot? Oh, was it in their pockets? Oh, for fuck's sake. It was it in your damn pockets? You didn't put it You didn't put it in the hold of the ship. You kept, kept it in your damn pockets. Yeah, great. Thanks. Sorry about that, Rustica. Turns out Rusev doesn't like sharing. Teb gets an expertise in... Cooking a lot of meals quickly. Oh, drug cooking. No shit. Is he any good at that, though? Intellectual of four. Nah, not really. 
Why would that be under? Ah, oh, it's a shame that drug cooking's under that. I get it for balance reasons. It should be intellectual, really, shouldn't it? All right, uh, let's go feeding then. There you go. Irrigation, no shit, to help out with... Uh, to help out with the farms. Here's the problem. We haven't got any water. We're not pumping any water whatsoever. We've just got a fresh river here. So to do that, I would have to... Uh, we'd have to set up some sort of wind pump, maybe? But just for irrigation, that's fine. That makes sense. Take care of three Ibex. They will give us a book. Some gold. Vanimetric power cell. Ooh. Um, take care of three Ibexes for 13 days for a Vanimetric power cell. Sold. Easy. Where are you putting those? Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, of all the places to put the Ibexes, that wasn't it. No reachable pens. So you're telling me, oh, God. I've got to lower the fucking drawbridge to get them over there. Oh, well, this is a bloody nightmare. But that also doesn't count as enclosed now, so I can't physically get them back. Ooh, what do I do? I can't put them in the pen because there's no way to actually get them over there. We're going to have to put, like, a door down. This seems like an accident waiting to happen, doesn't it? Oh, God. Well, well, there go the Ibex. Okay, are we good now? P prioritize the roping, please. Please, God. Please, God. Uh, rope, rope, rope that one. Bojan. Oh, Christ. Okay, you know what? I'll just, I'll just let you do it. I, I believe in you. You can cook. Oh, Jesus. That sounded close. My island hasn't blown up yet, so I'm going to presume it's far enough away that we don't have to worry about it. Ibex 2. Where's the third Ibex? Where's the third Ibex, Mara? Little fella? Little, little fella. Little fella. Little fella. Don't go near that. Don't go near that. Come with me. Doors, unlike these things, I can't slam shut and not have them open automatically. So I'm just going to have Gene brick that back over. No, I'm not taking that risk. It's lovely. Uh, it would be lovely if it didn't totally devour our people the second we step foot on it. It's quite hypnotic. The YouTube compression absolutely loves that. Nothing more than moving gray pixels to really set it off. Well, I think we're going to leave it here for today. I love that every time we get to this outro, the goo has, has crept very slightly closer. It's been slow going. Uh, you know, as kind of the whole series was intended to be, but we found some really cool stuff that I think is absolutely the angle we work with where we become almost like scavengers. We can outfit ourselves with the rewards that we get for doing the scavenging. It's like the ultimate incentive to do more and more caravanning. So that's going to be the play going forward. I love the fact that it's not a lot behind microelectronics. It's obviously not going to be as good as marine armor and that type of stuff, but it's stuff that we have access to. And that's the, that's the only way we can get this really, really cool stuff. So... That's a great, great idea. I, I think it's a fantastic mod. It's really, really cool. I don't know if it'll find its way into every series, because I don't want, like, Z levels in every series. Sometimes feels a bit odd. But that is uh, that's a really cool addition. I'm happy we've seen that. Thank you to the executive producer tier patrons for making the series possible in the first place. Thank you to Sam, Dietz, Ait, Evelyn X, Amarok, Sajunk1986, Bling Magica, Crow Skull, Butch Werewolf, Tempest underscore, Nil Draith, please thank you. Gas Mask Gabe, Galaxy Wolf, Mysticos, Dune, Bear King, Space Soap, Sideshow C, Ender Puppy, Snow Lauger, Chax, Kreeft, instead of never going to give you up lyrics, Galupo, and Grandma's Mustache Comb. Thank you for being here. That is it for my Patreons for... My Patreons? Sure. My Patreons for October. It's a slight delay, of course, because I've missed a lot of content in October due to various technical issues and other stuff going on. We're going to leave it there. I'm going to go now because it feels like my head is melting out of my nose. And I'll see you all tomorrow.